In this video, we're going to talk about complex numbers. What are complex numbers and how do you work with complex numbers? So, just to start off, a complex number is a number of the form A plus BI. These are two-dimensional numbers because they have two different numbers. So, it's one number, but it has two numbers in it. That's a part of it. And so, it also has an I. So, recall that I is an imaginary number that's equal to the square root of negative 1. So anytime you have a number of this form, it's a complex number. A is called the real part, and B is called the imaginary part. And the way you keep those separate is the imaginary part is the part that's connected with the I, the imaginary number. Uh, also, A and B are both real numbers. So A and B are real numbers. And so those are your complex numbers. So we want to take some numbers and write them in complex form. So that says the form A plus BI. So let's just start with example one. We want to write three minus the square root of negative 100. We want to take that and write it in complex form, the A plus BI form. So remember, anytime you have a negative underneath the square root, you're dealing with an imaginary number. So you can pull out that negative and make it an i. So this is equal to 3 minus i square root of 100. And then you take the square root of 100. What is the square root of 100? It's 10. So that's 3 minus 10i. Is that in the form of a plus bi? Yes. Your a is 3 and your b is actually negative 10. So this will be your final answer. 3 minus 10i. Again, 3 is the real part. Negative 10 is the imaginary part. All right, let's look at another one. Example 2, we want to take 2 plus 7i over 5 and write it in the form of a complex number, which is a plus bi. With this example, we already have the i in it, so we don't have to worry about pulling i out from underneath the square root. But we don't have the A and the B part separated. So what we're going to do is break this fraction up. This is equivalent to saying 2 over 5 plus 7i over 5. And if you think about adding fractions, when you add fractions, as long as they have the same denominator, you can combine them together. So we're doing the exact opposite here. We're actually separating them. So instead of combining them, we're taking them and separating them apart. And so you end up with 2 over 5 plus 7 over 5i. And the only thing I'm going to do different is I'm going to write the i out, which I could have did it here, but I'm going to write it out here so that it's clear that my a is 2 fifths and my b is 7 fifths. And there's nothing else you could do to that. So that would be your final answer in complex form, 2 fifths plus 7 fifths i. All right, example 3, we are going to take negative 6 plus the square root of negative 18 all over 9. And we want to take that and we want to write it in complex form. So we want to simplify it. So the first thing I see is that we have a negative underneath the square root. So we can pull out the i. So this would become negative 6 plus i square root of 18 all over 9. And then just like in the last example, since it's a fraction, and we want to put it in the a plus bi form, we're going to take the fraction and separate it. So this would be negative 6 over 9 plus i square root of 18 over 9. Well, if you can see, negative 6 over 9 can be reduced because both of these are multiples of 3. So you can divide the top and bottom by 3. So divide by 3, and this becomes negative 6 divided by 3, which is negative 2. 9 divided by 3, which is 3. Alrighty. Also, remember whenever you have a square root, you have to make sure that it's completely simplified. So I want to see, can 18 be written as a product of a perfect square? So remember your perfect squares, 1, 4, 9, 16, and so forth. Can I rewrite 18 as the product of one of these? Yes, I can. I can actually write it as, so 18 is actually the square root of 9 times 2, and all of that is over 9. Well, what is the square root of 9? So I can actually separate those out. That's the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. So if you need to see it all, I'm going to write it out. That's the square root of 9 
times the square root of 2, and you still have your i all over 9. The square root of 9 is actually 3, so that's negative 2 thirds plus i 3 square root of 2 all over 9. And then the 3 and the 9 can actually be reduced because 3 going to both of those. 3 goes in here one time and it goes into here three times. So your answer ends up being negative 2 over 3 plus, so 1 times square root of 2 is the square root of 2 over 3. And I'm going to put the i at the end since it needs to be in the form of a plus b i. So this is my final answer, negative 2 thirds plus the square root of 2 over 3 i. Okay, now you try this one. Here's one for you. I want you to simplify 10 plus the square root of negative 75 all over 20. So pause the video for a moment and see what you get for this one. Okay, so the first thing you should have done is pulled out the negative. So that becomes i square root to 75. Then you break the fraction apart. So 10 over 20 plus i square root to 75 over 20. Then you simplify the radical, which is the square root. Can you rewrite 75 as the product of a perfect square? So what are your perfect squares again? 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. Well, I see one, 25. 75 is 25 times 3. And again, remember you can't break that apart. The square root of 25 is 5, so you can pull that out. You still have the 3 underneath the square root. And now simplify. 10 going to both of these. 10 going here once and going here twice. So that becomes 1 half. And 5 going to both of these. 5 going there once and 5 going here 4 times. So that simplifies like that. So you're left with the square root of 3 over 4. And then you put your i at the end since you want it to be in the form of a plus bi, which is the form of a complex number. Is that what you got? Did you get that? If so, great job. You're on your way to mastering this algebra stuff.